Hi, what's up, friend? Welcome to another Cisco tutorial on my YouTube channel, Cisco Config. My name is Abdul Basit, and in this video, I show you how to configure Telnet on Cisco switch or router. In this video, I'm going to use Cisco 3550 switch. Let's start it. There is two to three simple steps only to configure Telnet, and it's very easy to configure as compared to SSH. First thing, we need to assign a management IP address. And in second step, we need to enable the telnet and assign the password to access. So get started. So here I open putty, go to serial port, put COM3 and enter. So I log in my switch. I go to enable mode, type enable, then go config T to log into privilege mode. Now I will go interface VLAN 1. I assign IP address 10.10.10.1 subnet 255.255.255.0 and no shut. Exit. So first step completed. Here you can see my interface VLAN state is changed down to up. Now my first step is completed. I assign a IP address. This IP address 10.10.10.1 I will use while I am going to telnet this device. In second step, I need to enable the telnet. So I go line VTY 0 to 15 because it's a switch. So we go 0 to 15. If it's router, then we go 0 to 4. Okay, next command transport input telnet. So our telnet is enabled. We need to assign the telnet password. If someone try to telnet, so pop up should come and they ask the password. I put password. Cisco for example enter and this password for login enter I need to enable I need to configure enable password for this laptop so I will type enable password I put Cisco so when someone go to enable mode so the pop-up will come and there's the password exit now my all steps are completed and telnet is configured in my switch. That's it. We could successfully configure telnet in our Cisco Suite 3550. So now check it. To check it, I connect my laptop LAN card to Cisco switch any LAN port via CAT6 cable. And I assign the same subnet IP in my LAN card to access the switch. So I put a CAT6 LAN card between my switch and LAN, laptop LAN card. Here you can see my interface state is changed and it is it was down and now it is going up. I need to assign the same subnet in my laptop LAN card. For that I will go to the Ethernet card, change it after setting, double click, go to properties, go to TCP version 4. Oh, luckily I put the same subnet IP already. If not, you need to put a static IP in the same subnet. Then OK and OK. To telnet the device, these are two way. First, from laptop command prompt, press window key, press R. So this pop up will open. Type CMD, enter. You can ping management VLAN, but we, management VLAN we configure 10.10.10.1. 10 so first, we can see can we ping the switch? Yes. So next step, we go to telnet this device telnet with management IP what we configure 10.10.10.1 enter yes successfully we connect through telnet you type enter password oh sorry if your password is Cisco enter yes now we go to enable mode it asks the password again we type Cisco and we log in to switch in enable mode we go to config T yes we in configuration mode and we go show we go VLAN let's see which of our VLAN show VLAN so here you can see many VLANs are created VLAN 20, 30 and VLAN 1 included where we are logging this switch it's old switch and old configuration still there I will put a command show IP interface brief enter here you can see VLAN 1 and assign the IP to that VLAN and state is up and protocol also up now second step if i want to log in this switch via putty so what i have to do first i close the old session yes i need to run the putty we will go to telnet here is it and we need to telnet the ip which ip 
we configured before 10.10.10.1 this is our device ip open yes so we can log in via party we have to type our password cis cisco enter yes go to enable mode it asks the password again we type the password again and here is it like this we can log in our cisco switch remotely via telnet now do a quick recap about step and commands i use here step one we configure the management ip address in management vlan we go interface vlan we put the ip address in vlan and no shut step two we configure the telnet in vty 0 to 15 we go line vty 0 to 15 transport port input telnet password we put any password what we like password for login we type the command login and exit that's it we configure the management ip and we configure we enable the telnet the last step we enable the enable password we put in the switch so someone go enable mode they should have to provide the password for access thank you for watching this video i hope so you like it and please like and subscribe my youtube channel cisco config